Hey guys, so today I'm going to do my June empties. This month I used up $145 worth of beauty products, which is amazing. I definitely spent more than I would have wanted to though for this past month, but I did, spoiler for my beauty budget video, use up more than I spent, but not by too much. I'll share with you guys all those numbers and why in that video, but for my sample, like total, I used up $23 worth of samples, so it's not as much as I typically use up for the dollar amount of samples. I just really didn't use as much samples as I used to for a previous month. I really was focusing hardcore on some of my fuller size items, and those items are a lot of skincare items that you'll see. But let's just jump in with the makeup items that I used up. I always start with this. I used up my favorite powder. This is the Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. It is comes out white, and but it's like a sheer translucent powder for your face. I have repurchased it this month, so basically they canceled each other out. This is my favorite drugstore powder. I like to just set my face after putting foundation, concealer, anything like that. Use this to just use all over my face. It does a great job mattifying, but not like making your face look flat or anything like that. I definitely recommend you guys check this out. It's cruelty free and I will always repurchase. I calculated this in the total last month, but I forgot to share with you guys. This was the NYX High Definition Eyeshadow Base. And I really like this eyeshadow base from the drugstore, cruelty free. Um, it has a nice applicator for you to apply. I would definitely check this out again. Right now I'm using my Urban Decay Anti-Aging Eyeshadow Primer. It's definitely a lot more expensive than this. So I would pick up the NYX Eyeshadow Primer next time I need an eyeshadow base just because this worked really well. I also do like the Wet n Wild Eyeshadow Primer as well. But those are really good ones. Then I've recently just used up my Laura Mercier Caviar Stick and Rose Gold. I still have another one of these, but you can see it is completely gone. Hear the clicks? It's gone. I really love this product. I love the color. I love the creaminess of it. It stays on your eyelids very well. I like to use it on its own or top it with a different eyeshadow for a quick, easy look. Um, Laura Mercier, I'm not... I don't believe it's cruelty free. I think it's one of the brands that's kind of wavering back and forth if it is or isn't. So until it's like concrete that it is cruelty free, I won't be purchasing from them, but I do really like this product and would recommend it. So that is all of the makeup items that I have. Let's get into skincare because that's like the biggest. I have my Sonia Kashuk. This is the eye makeup remover. I got it on clearance when all of Sonia Kashuk's products at Target were getting discontinued. I'm really sad that this product is discontinued. I really liked it. It was my favorite cruelty-free eye makeup remover. I did just pick up the NYX eye makeup remover. It's like eye and lip makeup remover. So I haven't tried that one yet. I'm still working on my Neutrogena one that I repurchased. So once I do that, I'll let you guys know. But this was a really good one. I don't believe they're selling it anymore. I have a body wash here. This is the Ulta Beauty Nectarine Rose Body Wash. It smelled really nice of a rose floral scent, but not too overpowering. I did really like this, and I continue to buy the Ulta Beauty body washes now that I'm kind of concerned about Bath Body Works. I have my razor blades here. These are from Gillette. These are the Venus Comfort Glide White Tea. I constantly buy this or the spa or the breeze ones. I like that they have like lotions on the top and bottom of the blades and it also has three blades. I've never really nicked myself maybe around my like ankle or something I have but I really like these and have repurchased. They're not cruelty free but I'm not playing with razor blades. Then have a moisturizer here. This is the Ole Henriksen Transform Sheer Transformation Perfecting Moisturizer. I love this day and night. It's my favorite. It just goes on the skin and blends in beautifully. Makes my skin feel moisturized without being like really heavy or greasy. I really, really love this stuff and highly recommend you all check it out. It is my favorite moisturizer. We'll definitely be repurchasing once I finish all my other ones. Another moisturizer is the Ole Henriksen, no, <laughs> Ole Regenerist Micro Sculpting Cream. And this was definitely a thicker 
moisturizer. I used it on my face at night. I also, to just get rid of it, used it on my knees and my elbows because I wasn't a super big fan of this. They're not cruelty free. I just wanted it out. I love the Ole, Ole Henriksen one better, so I just wanted to use that up. Talking about Ole Henriksen, oh my gosh. I, all these Olay products. Um, this is the Olay Henriksen Truth Serum. This is a little smaller guy, but I absolutely love it. I have used it up. I have a full size in my collection now, and I just love this stuff. It is great for putting on your face. It has some vitamin C to it, but it's not too sticky tacky feeling. I just put this on, then my moisturizer. I normally put on Sheer Transformation on top, and it just really brightens my skin, makes it kind of glowy, dewy. Really like it, and it smells really good as well. Then I have the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Wipes. I picked these up when I was going to be having my son, and I really love them. I right now I'm using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye makeup removers, and I do really like those as well. I like them actually better than these, though so I won't be repurchasing these anymore, which is awesome because I've been trying to find one that I liked, and I do like the It Cosmetics ones. I have a random toothpaste here. This is the Tom's of Maine Anti-Plaque and Whitening Peppermint. This is the cruelty-free, more natural toothpaste that I've been using and I constantly repurchase. Hair care. I have the Bumble and Bumble Don't Blow It Hair Styler. And this was in a project, my summer movie madness project. I have used up, this is probably my second or third, using this up completely. I really like it. It's kind of like a hair cream that you put in your hair when it is wet. I put it in last night and finished up last night and this is kind of what it does to my hair when I am sleeping on it. So I really like it. It doesn't make my hair feel sticky or anything. The only bummer is Bumble and Bumble is not cruelty free so I will not be purchasing this again until they stop testing on animals. But I do really like this product and I'm happy to be done with it. It was definitely getting to over the over a year mark with this product. Then I have a shampoo here. This is the Love Beauty and Planet Coconut Oil and Ylang Ylang Shampoo. I really like this stuff. Um, you can get it at the grocery stores and Target right now. It smells really good. I really like the feeling of this in my hair. I would definitely pick this up again. Then I have the Pacifica. This is the Coconut Power Strong and Long Moisturizing Conditioner. I was trying to get the shampoo, didn't, got the conditioner. It's not my favorite conditioner. This is for dry, damaged, color-treated hair. Um, it's okay. I wouldn't go out and purchase that. And then the last item is a candle. I don't burn candles all that often in the spring, summertime, but this is my favorite one. And whenever I see it, I definitely pick it up. This is the Pink Petal Tea Cake candle and it is my favorite scent. It has rose petals, fluffy cake, orange essential oil. So good. I absolutely love this. I have one other one that I am burning so very very slowly in my downstairs kitchen living room area but I would totally pick up another one if they sell these again. This is my favorite. I just never really see them in Bath and Body Works or just online in general anymore but yeah, those are all the items that I used up in June. I used up, like I said, $145 worth. Definitely a lot of skincare. I'm really happy about that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more videos, and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.